Hi guys, this is a Simon Expert. And today, as you can see on the graph, we have a car which rounds the circle of radius 50 meters with a constant speed. The car weighs 450 kilograms. Also, we know that car experiences the static force of friction, F, which is equal to 850 newtons and directed down the incline. And the angle of the incline rod is 25 degrees. Our task is to find the speed of the car. So, as you can see, I marked other forces that act on the car on this graph, which means that we will use uh, the equations of force. So, first of all, let's try the force equation for y-axis. So, sum of all the forces on y-axis equals ma and equals zero. So, what do we have? We have the force of gravity, the reaction force, and the force of friction. So, first we have n times cosine of theta. Then we have minus f times sine of theta. Minus mg equals zero. So, here we know everything except the reaction force n. So, let's find it n equals mg plus f times sine of theta over cosine of theta. And this gives us uh, 450 times 9.8 plus 815 times sine of 25 degrees divided by cosine of 25 degrees. And this gives us 5,251 newtons. So this is our reaction force. Now let's write down the sum of all the forces for the x-axis. So we have sum of forces by x equals ma and this time, this is equal to mv squared over r. So, in this case, we have the following. mv squared over r equals n times sine of theta plus f times cosine of theta. And from this equation, we can derive V. So, V equals the square root of R times N times sine of theta plus F times cosine of theta divided by M. And this gives us the square root of 50 times um, 5,251 times sine of 25 degrees plus 815 times cosine of 25 degrees. And all of this is divided by M, which is 450. And the result will be 18.13 meters per second. So this is the speed of our car. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.